Good morning, church. My name is Ian Garnett, and I would like to welcome you and thank you for joining our service today. Before we start, I, we ask that you turn off any electronic equipment or anything that might disrupt you during this time of worship. And as I read the call of worship, I hope you will join in and read responsibly. Come Holy Spirit, inspire our hearts with your fiery presence. Come Holy Spirit, energize our lives to work for God. Come Holy Spirit, pour your blessings on us. Amen. children's director and welcome to children's time. I was just counting my hair because a lot of people today have said that God knows all the hairs on your head. Turns out he's the only one that knows how many hairs are on your head. In fact, he knows everything about you. He knows where you've been and where you're going. Whenever life changes, he's still there and he will always love you. Will you pray with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Bill Clark. Will you please join with me in a congregational prayer? We aren't ready, Lord. It is easier for us to hide in the upper rooms of our lives, to let the world go by and not acknowledge your presence. 
but you have challenged us to come alive again with your love and words of healing mercy. Forgive our hesitant witness and our complacent gifts. Heal our fears and our wounds. Help us to be agents of healing for hope for others. Challenge and inspire us to overcome our feelings of inadequacy and remind us that you have called us beloved and have given us what we need to proclaim your good news. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The lectionary text for today is Matthew 10, 26 through 32. So do not be afraid of them, for there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many, many sparrows. Whoever acknowledges me before others I will also acknowledge before my God in heaven. Listen for the word of God, for the people of God. Good morning. Many of you know me, but for those who might not, my name is Carolyn McGee, and I've had the privilege of attending First United Methodist Church Charlottesville for 32 years. I have worked and worshiped with six pastors and actually lived to tell about several large and small renovations and many other changes that have taken place in and around this church. I guess if you're a Methodist, you can always count on change. Today, we will celebrate and honor those in our church family that whether they like it or not, will facilitate change as they grow, mature, and take steps forward into life. A while back, I brought a message to the students at the Covenant School about butterflies. You see, there's a belief that the flap of a butterfly's wings in the Amazon can cause a tornado in Texas. Now, is this true? Probably not. But the idea that every individual can be an impact on others in what might seem like small and insignificant ways is pretty intriguing. Just a few weeks ago, a very special event happened right here outside of this building. We had a drive-through graduation recognition for 12 of our preschool students. The balloons, posters, well wishes, and happy tears signified this important occasion in the lives of these little ones and their families. As we watched together this remembrance of the past year, as different as it was, think of how every little life that you see on your screen will have the chance to bring positive change into our world. Marvel at how each child will bring their gifts and their talents together to bring change to their corner of the world. Will you watch with me now? Good morning, church. My name is Kelly Henning, and I'm the preschool director at FUMP. This last week of May, we were able to honor and celebrate our 12 graduates of the FUMP preschool program. It wasn't the way that we were used to celebrating them, but we were able to honor them in a drive-by graduation ceremony. Please enjoy this little video of how we celebrated them. A preschool goodbye. Sticky fingers, freckled noses, head, shoulders, knees and toeses, shapes and colors, ABCs, taking turns and one, two, threes. Toothless smiles, hugs and giggles, circle time and lots of wiggles, wooden blocks and dress up clothes, learning how a flower grows, milk and cookies, first time friend, thinking days like these won't end, preschool done before you know it, no one sadder than this poet, like a butterfly, time has flown, you have learned and you have grown. Tiny chairs give way to desks, book reports, and spelling tests. So take off now, spread your wings, soar to new heights, learn new things. Just remember, as you do, 
We're all very proud of you. Congratulations, Bump Class of 2020. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The little ones that you just watched have so much to experience. They will have so much to offer. In time, they will grow and mature and turn into adults, unique persons recognizing their individual God-given gifts. Hopefully, with our prayers, our support, our encouragement, and the foundation that they have received here at First United Methodist, they will begin to tentatively flap their wings and then in turn bring a tsunami of change in our world. As parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and friends, we know that time is fleeting. Time goes by in the blink of an eye. In an instant, these sweet preschoolers will be donning a graduation gown and a mortarboard, and then receive a diploma from high school, university, or graduate school. They will have worked hard to get there, and they will deserve our praise and congratulations. They will have morphed from the little bird or butterfly flapping its tiny wings to a beautiful creature, one that is poised to take flight with the knowledge that they are a unique and valuable individual with gifts which might be invisible to the eye right now, but will with confidence facilitate change in the future. Please watch with me this tribute video put together by our youth director, Alex Irvine. It details some of the exciting things that are going on in the lives of our graduating youth and what this fall will look like for them. Actually, what this fall will look like for any of us is really an educated guess, but these are the plans these young folks have at present. What a wonderful collection of greatness right there. Every young person so unique, so lovely in their own way. Years ago, I watched a University of Texas graduation speech done by Navy SEAL Admiral McRaven. He is remembering all the important moments of his graduation day, and then he states the University of Texas slogan, what starts here changes the world. He stated that everyone needs to make their bed every morning. Why? His advice was that if you can't do the little things consistently right, you'll never do the big things right. I remember it as a defining moment. It was such great advice. You see, I make my bed every day, but it's because no matter how bad my day might be, I will still come home to a made bed, and that seems to make me think that tomorrow will be a new day and that it will have the possibility to be a better day. He said, if you wanna change the world, start off by making your bed. It is great advice. So right now, listen to some advice from some folks here at First United Methodist that some of these graduates have grown up with, folks who have loved them into their next phase of their life. Listen with me now to their advice. We wanted to give our graduates some time to give advice to our new preschool class that are off to kindergarten. Evan Niehoff, graduate of Albemarle High School, 
wants them to know to be good people to your fellow students and to your teachers. Make sure to use inside voices, not playground voices, and be kind to the other kids. Dear preschoolers, congrats on graduating. Remember to have fun and make sure you take advantage of all the opportunities you're given. And make lots of friends. Congrats. Congratulations. Good afternoon, graduates of uh, First United Methodist Church. I'm Ian Garnett, and I am a member of First United Methodist Church. And I want to congratulate you and give you, I'm a farmer, and uh, I've always lived in the country, and give me your little country philosophy on, on life. Uh, I was always taught when you go into a new field, that even though everything seems to be going fine, you might step in that cow pile. And I will tell you, I have done that a many a time, and after cleaning my shoes several times, you'll learn where not to step. But on a serious note, I want each and every one of you to know that this is a new venture in your life. Good luck. I know your parents are praying for you. But remember, the First United Methodist Church is also praying and we are keeping you in our thoughts and prayers. And I'm a real believer of prayer. Prayer has power. So if you get in that spot, please let us know. We will be praying for you. Congratulations and good luck. Congratulations, graduates. My name is Joan Ashley and here are some words of advice. Be true to yourself, to who you are, to your values, to your integrity. Hold steadfast to your faith in humanity, justice, and God. And most of all, have fun. This is Dave Wheatley. I've got a little advice for you. One is uh, if you go into business, whatever business it is, you can kind of see here what my business is. I'm a carpenter. Um, do it because you love it and do it the best you can. And uh, the other piece of advice I have is hold on to things lightly and people tightly. Congrats, grads. I would encourage that if you're going to college to take a class that you're really interested in, something that doesn't fit into your plan, doesn't fit into your major, but is just something completely different. Make sure you find something fun to do in the middle of the week, like trivia. Don't be afraid of saying yes to things like going out to a diner with a friend at midnight or maybe trying out a new club with them. Uh, also, don't be afraid to say no to things such as if you have a test the next morning. Hi, graduates. This is Wayne Remington at First Methodist Church. Just remember that your smile is the accessory that goes with every outfit and to every interview you go to. So brush and floss your teeth. Don't use your teeth as tools. And when you're out in the world, don't take any wooden nickels. Hi graduates. My advice is to be flexible. This year probably will continue to be a little bit weird. So do your best to roll with it. Take good care of yourself and take care of each other. Congratulations. Congratulations class of 2020. As your pastor, I wanna tell you that uh, God will always be with you and uh, you will always have your church family loving and supporting and praying for you. I will tell you that when I graduated from high school, uh, the advice we always got was wear a seatbelt because the seatbelts weren't in vogue back then. Now the advice to you, wear a mask. And there you go, sage advice from great people. People that will be here for these graduates for the good times and for the hard times. People that will pray for them as they flap their wings and launch into the future. People that will continue to cheer them on when the race seems too hard and the finish line is still too far away. People that will love them in their quest to make a change in the world. People that will help them fly when their wings are weary. So graduates, do not be afraid. As our scripture today revealed to us, none of us will fall outside of our Father's care. He knows and numbers every hair on our head. We are so important, so valued, so special to he who loves us more than the sparrows. Today, we congratulate you, graduates, our little ones, our high schoolers, and our university graduates. Hear me. 
We love you. What a privilege it has been to be a part of your lives, to be a part of your spiritual journey, and now to know that you are indeed ready to fly. God bless you. in every step you take from this day forward. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and give you peace. Now go and be the change you want to see in the world. Amen. Amen.